Et pitié de moi. Alléluia. Now, if a woman is pregnant, et donc, si une femme est enceinte, and that woman is in the labor room, they will ask the woman push. On va la demander de push. Qu'elle va coucher, on va demander de pousser. It is one of the most difficult moments in a woman's life. Et voilà l'un des moments les plus difficiles Amen. dans la vie d'une femme. Child bearing. Listen to me. Écoutez-moi. Child bearing. I mean pushing. The pains les is equal de la to est égal breaking 200 bones in your body at the same time. Briser deux os dans ton corps en même temps. Are you getting me? For a woman to give birth to a child is equal to breaking bones. You know, one of the highest pain you can have in your body is a fracture. Breaking bones in your body means it's painful. Amen? But there is something when you study or do a research of all women that have given birth, there is something very significant that I want to learn this morning. Que je Are we here? Que vous sachiez. Praise Master Jesus. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, are you ready? Ready for the word. Dites à ton voisin, es-tu prêt neighbor, pour la parole? Neighbor, you ready to be fed? Es-tu prêt? Amen. Hallelujah. Is so, are, are, are we on the same page? When it comes sur la même page. to childbearing, to labor, it's a difficult moment. If you have ever been a midwife, you're used to the cries of all the women. Cries like Eh, Mr. Jacob, you woke up with quand another one again. Quand tu es une femme sage, et là quand tu vas coucher une femme, Amen. là tu vas écouter toutes les cris. Christ, like, oh, who send me? Eh? Tu who send me my God? Envoyé Hallelujah. Praise God. But after that, they will go for another one. Après ça, elles vont. Amen. Anyway, that was an aside. Let's come back to business. Praise God. I will be your spiritual antenna up. Now, listen to this. Listen to this. In that period of labor, Lors in that moment période, of travail, there is something significant after douleur, research we have discovered from every woman. Praise God. Because of the pain, à cause rhythmic douleur, pains, because of the stress they are going through, at that time, subi, it's a bit difficult to push. Ça peut être But difficile. from every analysis, de pousser, lors de the child only comes out Le, when vient the woman surrenders quand la femme when she surrenders that okay abandonné. okay let it go let it happen this way okay. i just want to let it que je vais i just want laisser. to push it i just want to surrender je vais i just want to give it up are you getting me it is only at that time Tenu that the push can bring out the baby que l'enfant peut sortir praise god in the life of hannah Dans la vie Hannah de was married to Elkanah, de Anna, but Elkanah was in a polygamous marriage. Elkanah had another wife, Elkanah Penina, that had children. But at this moment, when Hannah did not have children, it pained her. She was very angry. She was very pained because she was mocked at by the poor wife. Praise God. 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 That day she made the prayer. Ce jour, elle a fait une prière. When she was praying that morning, quand elle était en train de prier ce she matin, told God, ce jour, that ce matin, God, I have prayed for too long dit que, Seigneur, for the child. Prié pour avoir but I have one thing to tell you, Lord. Mais un truc à te dire. If you give me this si child, tu me cet enfant, I will give the child to you. Je vais te rendre cet that enfant. is an aspect of surrender. Voilà un He's telling God, yes, I may have put tu my ego que in front mon ego to have a child. But I'm telling you now Mais that Seigneur, I don't want a child. If you give me the child, si the child will belong to you. Là, va there je is vais, something va too difficult for God to hold from you when you surrender. Il y a chose there qui is va something too difficult toi. that God yes, cannot keep himself from expressing his goodness to you when you tell him, précise. Lord, I don't know what to do again. Sa the message today tu dis à Dieu, is titled Surrender All to God. Et le message d'aujourd'hui est intitulé Abandonner tout à Surrendering Dieu. Surrendering all to God. Abandonner tout à Dieu. Praise Master Jesus. Surrendering all Abandonner to God. Abandonner tout à Dieu. Not just part. Surrendering all to God. 
abandonné toute la Dieu par le sens d'aujourd'hui. Is someone falling up here? Surrendering all to God. Abandonner tout à Dieu. Now it is very important for us to know. Maintenant c'est très important pour nous de savoir. Surrender pour means to let it, to give everything, de tout donner, to be controlled by a higher power, by une force and that power is God. Et cette force Somebody est Dieu. Is the ability of opening up and allowing yourself de to be taken control Dieu of by higher power because your own strength, your own ability, your own ability by une autre force. cannot help you. Is somebody getting me this morning? Many problems we go through personne, is because we are still keeping the problems as our own. Parce que nous Many challenges we go through is because we are still guarding those challenges. Parce we are still keeping them and covering them and petting them and pampering them to be our own. But the day you tell God, I am tired of this. Que je suis fatigué, I hand it over to you, not just by your words, but from your heart. God takes control of it in the name of Jesus. Parole, Have you seen an elastic? No matter how you pull the elastic, Dieu va le it is only when you leave it that you know its strength. Are you getting me? It is only the time you let go of that elastic, then you see the level and the strength which the elastic can strike. God works like an elastic. Dieu travaille comme if you hold elastic. him, and if you hold on to that problem for too long, si you will not react. Problem pour But the moment from your heart you tell God, Father, at this moment, my strength cannot Dieu, handle Seigneur, it. Ma my ability has failed. My knowledge has failed me. That is when God takes control of the situations in your life. Dieu it means many things that you're holding on to now. It has been chose, there because you have not given it up. It has been chose, there because you have not allowed God to take control of. Listen to me. In every life, there is a time to die and there is a time to resurrect. I'm not talking about the death where you will be buried. I'm talking about the death where you let something go off from within you. And you tell yourself, I cannot do it on my own. You tell yourself, this pride should be taken away from me. Because I don't know where the pride is leading me to. You tell yourself, this pain should be taken away from me because the pain has not yielded me any good all these years that I've kept it. This grudge should die away from me because the grudge has not brought any good to me. The pain. Praise Master Jesus. If you plant any seed now, what happens to the life of the seed is that the seed must die before it can grow. Without death, there will be no growth. Are you getting what I'm saying here? This seed must die. This seed must decay before it finds ability to regenerate life. That is how life is. Praise Master Jesus. The successful men you see in this world today, they are not successful from the one. There was a moment in their lives they knew everything was shattered. But what they did is that they continued. And at the next step, God took over Tout and brought them up. It doesn't matter what you're going through. All you need to do, not to surrender to the enemy, not to surrender to the devil, to allow the devil to use you, but to surrender to God. And tell God, Father, you cannot despise a broken spirit and a contrite heart. I have come to you because I know that you are the one that has ability to make zeros hero. You are the one that has ability to make the rich, the poor rich. You are the one that has ability to make barren wombs carry babies. I surrender. I have gone to the hospital. I have tried all type of things. I have done everything. I have taken all type of drugs. But I have discovered that without you, the drugs cannot work. By the time you give God his place, he will take over. But as you keep on holding to that problem, and you don't want to let it go, God will not be able to intervene. Have you seen this hand? God cannot put anything in this hand Dieu because it's closed. But there is something you are holding on to. I don't know what you're holding on to. You know what they did to me? En train I cannot apologize. Tu dis, je ne peux pas. You know what happened? I cannot let it go. You know what has, they have done? And God is telling you, I want to take you to the next level. Open your hand for me to put what you need for your next level. I don't want to open it. God is telling you this morning, there is nothing you can do. Just surrender. Tu peux faire, que I want to build a house. Que I want to do this. God is telling you, you are dit, going to work. You have money. Tu vas tu But vas if you don't trust me, that Mais house will not stand. Because you can work two million moi, and you have problems for three million. 
There are testimonies of, oh, Father, I thank you. Immediately, I just took down Jangi. 560,000. That's when the problem came and I spent it. What if the Jangi money was not available? It's a trick from the devil. The devil is only planning that at any moment of your financial overflow, there will be a problem. Then when you stop the problem, you think it's a testimony. I'm not a film that is not a testimony, but there's a trick from the devil to drain you of your finances. Praise Master Jesus. The best thing you can do is to surrender to God, then God will handle that problem. By the time you get there, even when the Nijangi comes, you will use it for something productive. Not for problem solving. Your life will not make be solving problems every day. You are not a problem carrier of your family. Any problem they are looking for you. Any issue they are looking for you. You have your life to be good. Is somebody getting me this morning? Surrendering all to God. Surrendering all to God. Telling God I cannot do it on my own. You are my strength. You are my sheep. You are my buckler. You are my source. I have surrendered this to you. My strength has failed me. My ability has failed me. My connections have failed. Father, take control. I don't know the situation you're going through. It can even be your health. You have taken all type of drugs. You have gone to all type of ecography. They have done all type of tests. But the sickness seems to be persisting. I have not asked you to stop drugs. But there's a prayer you can make one night. There's a prayer you can make one day. Open your heart to him and tell God, you are the one that created me. I love you, Lord. You know I love you. This may not have been the best in my life. But let your message speak for me. At this moment, I cannot do it on my own. I, I surrender to you. I surrender to you. Because I cannot do it on my own. I surrender everything to you. The moment of surrendering is a difficult moment. Because there are some things you don't want to let go. Even as you surrender. They were there in your life. They were not very good. But you were very pleased with them. You were very comfortable with them. Are you getting me this morning? But surrendering may be difficult. For that young lady, if I surrender to God, it means that boyfriend will not be giving me that money again. Are you getting me? If I surrender to God, it means I will not do that drug business. That drug business is giving me fast money, although I've not been caught. But it's dangerous, I can be caught one day, but I've not been caught. Are you getting what I'm saying? If I surrender, si it means I will stop scamming. I just go to the computer and I tap some things infinite. and they send me money and I go and collect it. So if I give my life to Jesus Donc, and si I surrender, Jésus, this thing will just go like that. Donc, ces choses seulement, ça For another person, ça va partir, if I surrender personne, and I apologize si now, so they will think that I'm the one that did it. So if I surrender now, si all the things that the people did to me and I say sorry, will it be like, are you getting me? So surrendering all the time, it is not easy as I'm preaching to you I know but it's a step for the next level is somebody getting me today it's not easy as I'm talking to you but it's a step for the next level it's painful but it's important praise Master Jesus is somebody getting me 7 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 The Bible says If any man Therefore if any man be in Christ He is a new creature All things Those are the things you have surrendered All things Are passed away Behold All things are become new Anytime you want to experience a new level, you must surrender the old level. Anytime you want to experience a new dimension, you must surrender the old dimension. You can never eat your cake and have it. Praise Master Jesus. And all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Praise God. And the Bible says to we that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself and imputing their trespasses unto them and had committed unto us the word 
of reconciliation. It means there are two things here. We have the ministry of reconciliation and the word of reconciliation. Are you post Second Corinthians five seventeen is in MSG, in the Message Bible. There's a point I want to make clear here. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, we look inside and what we see is that anyone that is united with the Messiah, you get a fresh start. Everybody in this life needs a fresh start. Because when you check the former, you will see that there is something you need to renew about yourself. Are you getting me? That's why the prayer point this morning was talking about renewal. Father, renew in me a right spirit. I want to have a right spirit to worship you. I want to have a right spirit to serve you. Praise God. He said, now, we look inside and what we see is that anyone that comes together is united with Messiah. He gets a fresh start. He's created new. The old life is gone. A new life. But Jean's, look at it. Now, the meaning of vision means to start to send forth growth. To start forth growth rapidly. It's not just normal growth. It's rapid growth. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen to me. If you take note, there are some people that immediately they get born again, they become too spiritual very fast. That short period, they can grow very fast and they attain a very high level of spirituality than those who have been there for a long period of time. Yes, it's because of this statement. Praise Master Jesus. That is why we have to teach unbelievers that when you get born again, even if you don't want to get born again now, be careful of the first six months when you get born again. It's a window and open period that you can grow very fast. Because very soon, you will become used to those things that you read. If someone gets in me, you become used to those things that the next thing you need now is passion to push you forth. Praise God. Because some people are experiencing fatigue. Christianity fatigue. I'm telling you the truth. La fatigue. They have been in church for too long. So they know the message the man of God is going to preach. They can finish the man of God's words. So there's fatigue. Like they have to graduate to heaven. Fatigue spirituelle. No, their level is not here again. They have gone too far. Ils ont déjà trop grandi. Praise God. Is somebody getting me? But the Bible is telling us this morning that the next matin, level of your growth is dependent on how this level dies. Le prochain niveau de Let this level die. There is nothing in your life that you will tell me that this is the best that God has done. There is still another one he wants to do. Is somebody getting me today? Luke chapter 9. Luke chapter 9. Luke chapter 9. Luke chapter 9. And he said to them all, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself. That's surrendering. Praise God. Jesus was talking. He said, if you're going to come after me, deny yourself. Deny yourself. And take up his cross. How many days? Daily. And follow me. One of my sons was asking me, that it means that everybody has got his cross. I said, yes. Praise Pastor Jesus. And I like to be more practical with my explanations. And I told him, Jesus had his own cross. Peter had his own. Jesus avec sa croix. At the Life Transformers Ministry, we have our own cross. But even if you keep Life Transformers Ministry aside, Shepard has his own cross. I say your own cross as a camper is that they will insult you. I tell you that what do you have to show for? Are you getting me? But remember, when the Chinese bamboo is under the ground, it takes five years. Praise God. If you go and dig your corn on day two when you planted and add the corn, why have you not grown? And you plant again, it will not grow. Are you getting what I'm saying? You have planted cocoa. Every day you are going to dig and see whether it's growing well. You check whether the roots are entering. You dig, then you bury back. Check that you come and dig and bury. Forget about it. Praise Master Jesus. The next level of your life is dependent on giving up the former. 
ancien. Praise God. He said, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. What is saving your life? You are trying to, by your own ability, see that, oh, huh, the way things are going, I have to find my way. If I don't find my way, uh, oh God. Jesus said that as you are trying to save it, you lose it. Praise God. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, he said the same shall have it. Praise Master Jesus. Surrendering is a time in your life where you tell yourself, I have done everything I can, but I'm not still where I expected myself to be. It means my ability has failed. If you are not sincere to yourself, God will not be sincere to you. My strength has failed me. My knowledge has failed me. Praise Master Jesus. If your knowledge did not fail you, why would a professor be asked to join a court before being appointed in a position? It means the whole school he went for is for nothing. Is somebody getting me here? Why would they tell a PhD holder that before we make you this and that, you have to join us in a sect, in a court, before we appoint you? It means all the time you wasted from primary school seven years in those our days is now that it's six years Lost seven years again in secondary school we don't know how many classes you repeated seven years in university or medical school or maybe you did three years and three, two years of PA, masters another four years of PhD all wasted praise God is somebody getting me here all your know-how wasted. They tell you before you get here, this is what must happen to you. Praise Master Jesus. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, Jesus said, Come unto me. Because there are moments you cannot handle it. Praise Master Jesus. He said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. All those who want to surrender, those who want to just let it go, those who want to give up. He said, Come, there's a place here. He said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. He said, I will give you rest. Because you need to rest. He said, Take my yoke. That is a very thing as cross. So don't think that in Christ you will not have challenges. As we are coming, they were persecuting you in the world. You have come to that department. Even in the department in church, there will be some people who don't want to see you. Then you will be asking yourself, where do I go to? Go and try Famla. They will come to your tent. They will say they want to be you. Praise Master Jesus. Are you getting what I'm saying? Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Jesus said, learn of me. Copy me. He said, for I am meek and lowly in heart. What does it mean? He said, he's humble. Even when they beat him, even when everything was done against him, he forgave them. That's what he's telling you. Take your own cross. Follow me. He said, learn of me. If you want to succeed in this life, you have to surrender. All those things that were done to you, just surrender them. And ye shall find rest unto your souls. Your souls mean your mind, because that's where the war is. That's where that's where everything is fighting you in your mind. He said, "For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light." Then in Hebrew chapter four and verse ten, in Hebrew chapter four and verse ten, he said, "For he that has entered into his rest, before you go to that rest, he also has ceased from his works." As God did from his. And in verse 11, he said, You want to experience that child? You have to labor. He said, Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. You have labored for long. That rest needs you to let your heart for Jesus to take over. Is somebody getting me here? Is somebody got what I'm saying? That rest you need is to let your heart, that Lord, take control. I cannot do it again by myself. Praise Master Jesus. Every great man goes through this process. 
in the life and of Jesus in Matthew 26 and verse 39. He said, Father, he prayed heavily. He said, Lord, this thing is too difficult for me. He said, take this cup away from me. But he remembered that the cup cannot be taken. The only thing he can do go is to surrender. Matthew chapter 26 moi. and verse 39. Matthew 26, Matthew verse 29. Verse 39. Even Jesus Même surrendered. Jesus what about you? And he went a little uh, he went a little further and he fell on his face and prayed, saying, Oh my father, if it is possible, I don't want to go through this tribulation. Is that the meaning of let this cup? Let this cup pass from me. But he remembered that the law of a new life is surrendering to the old. He said, nevertheless, not as I will. I want somebody to say that. Not as I will. Not as I will. Not as I will. Not as I will. But as thou wilt. That's the process of surrender. Voilà le procès Praise Master Jesus. Lord, do it the way you want to do it, not the way I want. Because the ways I've wanted before has landed me here. The ways I've wanted before has not taken me to where you wanted me to be. So, Father, I trust you with my life. Do it the way you want. They may insult me, but I trust you. They may persecute me, but I trust you. They may speak evil of me, but I trust you. They may even speak good of me, but I still trust you. Do it the way you want. Let not my will be done, but your will. Because you know the thoughts you have for me. They are not evil thoughts. They are thoughts of peace to give me an expected end. I cannot do it on my own. Father, do it the way you want it. I cannot do it by my own strength. Do it the way you want it. I don't know the next level you have for me, but I know that every plan set by you is a good one. I know every step you have put for me is a good step. I don't want to walk by my ability. I don't want to take it by my strength. I don't want to go again by, by my senses. Let your spirit lead me. Because I cannot do it alone. Parce que je peux pas le faire de moi-même. Praise Master Jesus. Louange à l'Éternel. Praise Master Jesus. Louange à l'Éternel. One time, my mother was physically challenged. Et une fois, ma maman était si mal. And that day, I remember. Je me suis rappelé. I prayed every prayer I knew. J'ai prié toute prière que je savais. Then one day. Mais un jour. I knelt down. I told God. Je me suis agenoué. I said, I know that you hear me. Je sais que j'ai dit, Seigneur, je sais que tu m'écoutes. I said, if there is si this sickness in her, cette maladie is unto death, c'est and you mort, design it like that, I said, Father, père, take her. Prends-la. I said, if it is your will, mais si c'est take ta volonté, prends-la. Let her not go through the pains, because Parce they will transfuse her blood. Like a transfer du son, petty pints of blood. Et tout, mais rien no leukemia. They said it's a pathospilomegaly of all type of sicknesses, everything. I said, Lord, j'ai dit, Seigneur, my strength has failed. Ma force, my ability échoué. has failed. Ma I said, when I was young, I said that I want to be a medical doctor so that I can treat her, but I cannot help her. I did all the tests. I do not see anything wrong. On a allé I said at this moment, des examens, on a rien I'm praying to you, Lord. Je prie you know her, Lord. If it is your will, si c'est ta volonté, take her. I said, but if it is not your will, Mais c'est pas la, ta volonté. any time you get Chaque to the end of the road, that is when God wants to take la control. Route, la he Dieu cannot do it when you are still holding on to it. Dieu ne peut pas le faire quand tu détiens encore ces choses. And after I made that prayer, Après que j'ai fait cette prière, God wiped away all the sicknesses. Dieu a effacé everything. everything. This God Ce is Dieu too good. Si bon. But he's waiting for you to give Mais up. Katzen Kuman said, I was Katzen walking Kuman on the road and I got to the end of the road. Then I told God, route, dit à Dieu, this is my end. Voici ma he frère. said, that is the day. Catherine Kuman, voici died. le jour que Catherine Kuman est mort. 
That was the last three years of her ministry. She had been ministering for a long time. But as a pastor, she never experienced what she experienced in the last three years. Because one day she made a statement. After she married and divorced the same way. And she went to preach in a church where a pastor invited her. Another person came and told the pastor that which woman have you invited to preach on your altar? That woman is a divorcee. While she was on the altar, the pastor that invited her, when got that information, walked to the altar and took the mic from her and told the church congregation that I am sorry. I never knew that this woman is the is a divorcee and sent her out of the church. She walked out of the church with the information that came her from the altar. And then, you can't preach on my altar because you are divorced. In a time, she took a walk on the road. Then she got to the end. À la fin de la route, et elle a dit Dieu. Je suis venu à la fin. I don't have any life. Any life je n'ai plus rien. Je n'ai plus de vie. Il y a une vie qui vient après ça. Ça va, ça va être la vie qui t'appartient. Et From après that ce day, moment, the type of Dieu a changé son histoire. Men cannot understand. Ce que Dieu a fait dans sa vie à Catherine Kouma. There was a crusade. Catherine Kuman came, and there was a man brought with over 29 diseases. His all his joints were broken. All the bones were broken. He was carried in a stretcher, and the doctors that were attending to him came like three or four of them. They were on him in the crusade. Et quand on est venu avec cet homme, quand cette femme est entrée dans cette crusade, elle n'avait pas commencé à prêcher. Elle n'avait pas commencé à prêcher. Elle a dit Saint Esprit. Et la vie physique a été brisée. Elle a dit Saint Esprit. Et la vie physique a été brisée. Elle a dit Saint Esprit. Et la vie physique a été brisée. Elle a dit Saint Esprit. Et la vie physique a été brisée. Elle a dit Saint Esprit. Et la vie physique a été brisée. Elle a dit Saint Esprit. Et la vie physique a été brisée. Elle a dit Saint Esprit. Et la vie physique a été brisée. Elle a dit Saint Esprit. Et la vie physique a été brisée. Elle a dit Saint Esprit. Et la vie physique a été brisée. Elle a dit Saint Esprit. Et la vie physique a été brisée. Elle a dit Saint Esprit. Et la vie physique a été brisée. You may be a pastor listening to me. You have seen signs and wonders, miracles. But there is a day to surrender. There is a time to surrender. Things may be going well in your life, but there is a time to surrender. Things may not be going well in your life. There is still a time to surrender. You know the things that have gone through your life. There were some situations you got in. You never knew that you would come out of it. There were some things that came to your life. You knew that was the end. But God helped you out. This moment, I don't know what is going through your heart. Because you said to yourself that by this time I would have done this. There's no problem about that. God can change your story in one day. He can change your story in one second. That is the God we serve. Even when the devil took everything from Job, Job says that as long as I'm alive, I have hope. I trust that God because He can restore me. When He blessed me, I never complained. In this state, I will not give complaint. The Bible says in Job chapter 42 that God restored Job more than ever before. That the children He had were the most beautiful children on the face of the earth, and everything was restored. Double, double. Please, don't yield to the devil. Yield to the Holy Ghost. Don't heal to your challenges. Heal to God. Healing is surrendering. Father, I surrender to you. I will not surrender to man. I will not surrender to those who fight me. But I surrender to you. In the life of King David, there were moments in his life he never knew he would go through. But he stood his grounds. And every time he made a prayer, he asked God, "Father, let your mercy speak for me." He said, "Seigneur, que ta miséricorde parle pour moi." In your life, the issue may be cigarettes. Il y a des trucs dans ta vie peut-être c'est secret. The issue may be alcohol. Le problème peut être la cigarette. You don't know how to stop that gossiping. La boisson. You don't know why you find yourself always in a company that tells you the things you don't want to hear. Tu es toujours lié dans une association qui est mauvaise. God help me. Tu peux dire à Dieu et tu veux sortir mais tu ne peux pas dire par ma foi. Comment tu peux faire mais tu peux dire Seigneur. It's not by might, it's not by power. Que c'est pas par ma force, mais par le Esprit de Dieu. Que c'est pas ton esprit. If it was by might and power, si c'était par force, those who crucified Jesus saw the miracles he did with their eyes. Ont vu les miracles que Jésus a fait. Their sisters were raised back to life. Ils ont vu comment Jésus a ressuscité. Their brothers were raised back to life. Et les autres ont vu les miracles. They saw miracles of blind eyes opening. Les yeux a vu Jésus. 
Even those with Jesus le combat. denied him. Même Peter denied him. Jesus. He said, I don't know him. Même the Bible says it's not by power. It's not by might. It's not because of miracles. That some people will fear a man of God. They don't have the spirit of God. The Bible says it's not by power. It's not by might. It's by my spirit. Mais pas ton esprit. Praise the Lord. The day Jesus died and came back to life in John chapter 20, he made his disciples. He said, Receive it, Holy Ghost. That is the day the disciples became born again. All the time they were with Jesus, they were never born again. And in Acts chapter 2, when the Spirit of God fell, they became bold. Then they could preach the word of God. It's not by might, it's not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. If it was by might, those force, you prophesied to, que tu as heal sur eux, and deliver, they would not be able to fight you. Ils ne pas venir te if it was by power, par la force, those you stretched for the hand to and they fell, they would have been scared. Et les the Bible pour says, prier, et ils ont su when the spirit is absent, you are as empty as a tabula rasa. De mal parler contre toi. Many times I tell the Holy Spirit, I will fix my esprit. heart. The word I preach, so that I will not preach the word of God and be cast away at the end. First Corinthians 9 27. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Many people say, I want to see God. But if you see God, are you sure you will be able to stand? The children of Israel told Moses that they want to see God. And when God came, and and left. Moses told the children of Israel that please we have a meeting with God. They said, Moses, go and see God. Come and tell us. We we'll hear from you. That your God is a very wild God. Praise Master Jesus. There were times some pastors rose up against Moses. And they said, Do you think that you are anointed? That we also are anointed. We are also pastors. Points. The leader was Korath. Et le dirigeant était Korath. Are you getting this? And he brought some people with him. Il a all of them were 120. Pastors. They said, leave all. Oh, Moses, leave that thing. Que laisse que Moïse, tu dis là, you are collecting all the offering for yourself. Tu prends les, tous les offrands pour toi. Praise God. And Moses said, okay. Et Moïse a dit, Aaron. Aaron, tell them that I want to see them. Yeah. Demande aux gens de se rassembler. He said they should come with everything, every belonging. Qui all their families are strong. Qu ils ont, les biens et the Bible called Moses the meekest man upon the face of the earth. La Bible dit que the word Moses did Moïse almost made me to change my mind. But you cannot change your mind about the word of God. Très doux. Are you getting what I'm saying? Et, et, et de très Moses doux. said, et la Bible dit, I know Je sais, I'm not okay as a pastor to you. Je ne suis pas but comme if un à vous, God called me, mais si Dieu appelé, let the earth open. Que la terre the Bible sous, says before he spoke, la Bible dit avant before que Moses finished Moïse speaking, de parler, the earth opened and swallowed them with their children and their property and clothes. My point is innocent children. Les enfants innocents because of the sins of their father à cause des péchés des parents I listen to the message by apostle if thou speak not vous devez écouter le message I wonder how de... many generations are going to come after Sophie and suffer because of what their parents did and they will not know je ne sais pas combien de générations Vont venir souffrir à cause de ce que vous avez fait, vous avez dit. I wonder how many things will go wrong in some families. Je sais pas combien de choses qui vont because dans des familles. Your parents spoke parce que les parents a man of God. ont parlé contre un homme de Dieu. And when the devil does something, you can run to God; he will Dieu help you. Quelque chose. When God resists someone, and you resist run to him, who will help the person? Qui va and you run to God, who will help the person? Praise Master Jesus. Psalms 51, verse 7. Le Psalm 51, verse 7. Psalms 
Psalms 51 and verse 7. Kaladu Shabahanda. Subre Kaladish Kalas. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I love these words. We are still talking about surrendering all to God. And Psalms 51 verse 7 is saying that wash me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Hyssop is a sweet scented plant that is colorful. It has green leaves and also some purple and white flowers. It is hyssop that God asked Moses that the children of Israel should take the hyssop and dip into the blood and rub on the on the doorpost. You remember? Now the psalmist is saying that, Father, touch me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. This is a process of surrendering. I don't like my life. I hate what is happening. This thing is not going well in my life. This is a prayer you can do. Father, touch me. It's instead of acknowledging that things are not going well, Lord, touch me. It's a state of accepting that I want to leave the old state to a new state. Touch me. If a man therefore brought himself from this thing, 2 Timothy 2 21, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and meet for the master's use. Purging is a state of surrendering. Surrender all. Surrender all. Many years ago, I used to think that surrendering all is for those who want to be born again. Until the Holy Spirit taught me that even you, you have to surrender every day and tell God, I surrender. Go back to Psalms 51. Let's go to verse 8. We'll read to, right to verse 17. Very fast. We'll round it up here. Surrendering all to God. Touch me with his soap and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness. Maybe you have been in sorrow for a long time. You're praying, Father, I want to laugh again. That the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Listen to me. When you start fighting a man of God, you become like someone who is mad. I've seen this many times. You become as someone who, who is mentally deranged. You begin to speak anything, anyhow. You will not understand until you can be able to redress. Why? Because men of God do not call themselves. God made them. When you fight them, the anointing in them fights back. They don't need to speak. If he's truly anointed, if the man is not anointed, they don't have any problem. If he's truly anointed, the anointing in them fights back. And the anointing in them, the way it fights back, it makes you as though you have drunk alcohol. You become confused and unrest. You never have peace. Praise Master Jesus. Are you getting what I'm telling you? You never have peace. Tu n'auras pas la paix. The psalmist said, Cast me not et away from thy presence et, et and take dit, not thy Holy Spirit from me. This is a prayer I pray every time. I said, Father, they may find me from without. But le Seigneur, let your Holy Spirit remain in me. Et que ton Those who come moi. to you and ask for deliverance, let them be able to receive that deliverance. Those who come to you and ask that they be healed, Father, touch them. Don't take your Holy Spirit from me. Although that was the Old Testament, this new dispensation, it cannot live, but it can become redundant. It can become very inactive. Is somebody getting me? Restore to me the joy of thy salvation and of God within me, thy free spirit. What is free spirit? I want to have a free mind to worship in LTM. There are some in LTM sitting here, they don't have a free mind. They are very disturbed because their heart is not for God in LTM. Their heart is contrary to the house of God. But they are just coming. They are very uncomfortable. I had all the information in the morning. Some came and left. 
They cannot stay. Others will come and just be walking around. Listen to me. If service is going on like this, and you see some pastors outside, relaxing and going around and discussing, they are not LTM members. I say pastors, even if they are reverends, they are not transformers. Message cannot be, apostle divine cannot be preaching. And Shepard Hastings. You know, you know Shepard Hastings. I cannot be outside. Je peux pas être dehors. Praise God. One came, uh, I was venu. making calls outside and entered the grace hall. Et entre dans la, so please, security, have to be in the grace hall. You don't know what they can go and put there. They can want to go and put drugs that we are dealing in drugs. We have not even seen it. Praise God. Are you getting me? That's the meaning of a free spirit. If your spirit is not free, si no matter how you sit quietly, même si tu a spiritual issue within you, you are very unrest. Tu vas être you are very uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Praise God. Tu vas manque de repos. I made up my mind when I came to LTM. I said, whatever issue I have with the divine, I just better mystère. submit and lie down. Whatever I want to do with me, let him do. Because you can soumer. never be in this accord with the man of God and you are expected to be blessed. Je you are the one that will be destroyed. When he raises his hands, be blessed in the name of Jesus. You say amen. When your heart is contrary, you are the one receiving curses. Is that we don't say it? Are you getting me? If I give you 100 francs, what you're seeing is 100. Behind is horn. So it is how you receive the 100 that will make it to bless you. So I said, be blessed in the name of Jesus and you have your contrary. You said, I receive. You are not receiving blessings. Because the Bible says God has given us the power to build and to destroy. In the name of Jesus. Go back to that Psalms. I love it. Then he said, If you do this to me, I will teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Anything you do, if it is not to convert the unbelievers to God, they are doing the wrong thing. Praise Master Jesus. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. And my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O oh Lord, open down my lips and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice. Else I will give it. What God wants from you is not sacrifice. You know some people say that I've paid my tithe in that church. I, 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 I give my offering. <laughs> your offering and your tithe is not your heart. What God needs from you is your heart. Because there are some givings. Are you getting me? There are some givings that if pastors are wise, they will not collect it. Are you getting me? There are some donations. Pastors reject. They say, no, keep it. No, guard it. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm saying? Why? The Bible says, as a man proposes in his heart, let him give. Not grudgingly. Not of necessity. Don't give because we need. Why? The Bible says God loves a cheerful giver. If you give one million to church and your heart is not there, you are giving zero francs. You have nothing given. Praise Master Jesus. No matter what you give, if your heart is not in sync, si ton cœur n'est pas not giving. En accord avec ce que tu donnes, avec ton donné, that is how God is. Recevoir. So you could look at yourself that oh, I have given, but God, you never give anything, because Just He said when donné, you bring your gift to the altar and you discover that altar, your brother has rebelled against you, frère, not that you don't against your brother, your brother against you, He said go back. Keep that gift, go back, make peace with your brother, then come and give the gift. Is somebody getting me? Surrendering is at every state of our lives. 
we have to surrender to experience a new level if the butterfly does not allow the pupa to transform he will not give the butterfly there must be a period of surrendering for some reptiles molting is a state of uncovering the old scales or the skin for a new skin to grow there's a painful process and in Isaiah, uh, sorry Psalms 51 verse 16 the Bible says for thou desirest not sacrifice that's why you see that oh, this brother that has been walking in church like that this sister that has been walking in church like that what really happened oh they walk well but not from their heart He said, if it was sacrifice, I will give it. But I know that your delight is not in burnt offerings. Then verse 17. The sacrifices of God, they are a broken spirit. A broken and a contrite heart of God. Thou will not despise. Broken spirit and a contrite heart means that it's a state of surrender. Or you prostrate and tell God, my strength has filled me. But I know that you are the one that can take control. Is somebody getting me today? Because the life ahead of you is dependent on the surrendering of today. To God. This thing is not happening well in my family. This thing is not happening well in my life. I'm seeing some stresses of, of maybe my father or my mother in my life. Please, you need to surrender to God when you take control. Otherwise, what happened to your parents will happen to you. I'll be seeing that one day in the bloodline. Mother got married out of uh, uh, gave children out of wedlock. Daughter, children out of wedlock. You get what I'm saying? There are patterns in families, in lives. You must identify them and stop them. It can happen when you surrender to God and say, Please, Father, in the name of Jesus, I don't want this to happen to me. I've discovered these things in this life. In my life, I don't want it to continue. I surrender to you. It is better you take my life and renew me the way you want me to be. Let your will be done and let not my will not the will of man be done. In the name of Jesus. The point of surrendering is a point of pain. It comes with pain like the woman that was to give birth. But at the moment you said, let me let it go. That's when the child will come out. The Bible says, on Zion travail, she brought forth her children. Surrendering is also a time when you have to cut off some friends. You have to cut off some companies. Some people who give you bad news. Why is it that anytime you come to me, you must bring me bad news? Why is it that anytime you want to talk to me, you must tell me there's something that discourages me? Can you not encourage me one time? Please. Bad company. Are you getting that? Bad company is part of the reason why some people don't grow. Some people don't experience the next level testimonies in their lives. Praise Master Jesus. Is somebody getting me today? When the Holy Spirit revealed this to my heart, I told God, I surrender to you. In the name of Jesus. If you're here, you've been born again. Then you have a long way to go. Because the first surrendering you have to do is to tell God, Father, I just want to belong to you from today. I don't have any other thing to depend on, only you. With this message, I trust that if I come to you and you come into my life I will have a better life some of you you must have been born again before but you know that you have not been working with God you don't pray every day, you don't worship him you don't serve him, you know that your life is not right with him it's not about the person sitting beside you this is a personal issue you and your God know as I'm talking to you now the Holy Spirit is ministering to your heart that this is the moment for you to open up and give your life to Jesus please don't hold it this may just be the time for you to start afresh, for you to start all over, for you to kick start a new life of growth and speed. Some of you want to rededicate your life and tell Father, thank you for this message, surrendering all. I've discovered that it is not just about the things I know. The book I have studied is not about the job and the money, it's about you. 